Hey everyone, Ghetto Sweater here, and welcome back to One Shot. When we last left off, we had met our new robot friend who told us that we were the savior of the new world. And with the help of our little light bulb, we are going to bring light back to this darkened and saddened land. So let's go ahead and we'll just jump right back in. Ghetto Sweater. Ghetto Sweater, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. See, that's super cool. So it actually registers. There was a lapse in time since the last time you played. So that's definitely a clever idea. Now, I know that he mentioned that there was a map inside of this building, but I don't think I was able to do anything. Uh, hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Mm-hmm. Go on then, ask away. Okay, cool. So there's a few more questions we'll ask. We'll blaze through those. What about the Barrens? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barrens. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So you just stand here? Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. The prophecy. So what is this prophecy exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun, and illuminate the world. Oh. What else did you, uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Wait, are you are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. Your what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot, after all. I see. How tall is the tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I am not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Ghetto Sweater will know what to do. I see. So that gives us a little bit more information. Uh, just about what's going on in the world and everything like that. So I'm curious because it said that the map was in this building. And I didn't find a map. I won't turn on... So I'm assuming that it possibly is in that box that I need something to open it with. So we'll go ahead, we'll poke around the area and see what we can find. A robot, in, a robot sitting on the conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. Yeah, the usual. Seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. Ooh, very clanky. Something's clanking a lot. Or is that just music? Oh. Nope, that's clanking. Ghetto sweater. I am not going to put the sun in there. <laughs> uh, chaotic evil achievement. Yeah, that sounds about right. I want to do it just to do it. Do it. Can I... I want to put the bottle in there. Why would you want to smash a bottle here, ghetto sweater? The shards would get everywhere. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know what? You're the smart one here. I'm just going to let you run the show from now on. I shouldn't even be here. What is this? Well, I imagine that I can use that crusher for something. So we'll keep exploring around the area and see what else we can find. That's not okay. <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to function. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Cool, can I have a gas, gas mask, please? Gas mask for my mask, please. There, this is very intricate. What is that? Oh, wait a minute. I want to see what that is. A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't 
remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you get a sweater? I do not. Hey, would you believe it? It wasn't zero, 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 zero. Weird. <laughs> All right, what else can we find around here? Can't go that way. Oh. Uh. What's up here? Ah, ghetto sweater. There's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Yeah, don't breathe in the, the gas. They specifically said not to do that. I've always found gas masks to be interesting. Just like the concept. Because I don't really know how it filters air and stuff like that. What's up here? A robot. No power, just like the rest. I feel like that is a special robot. I feel like that robot may have some importance. I am... This place is huge. I feel like... I could be completely lost right now. The entrance is roped off, and there's a sign here. Warning, authorized personnel only. Visitors must see the head engineer for permission to enter the mines. I guess we should find the head engineer. I guess. So back this way we go. I don't really know what else we could be exploring, but that's what an adventure is all about. Touch everything, look at everything until there's nothing left to touch and or look at. A torn page with faded ink. Uh, random date. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of Metal Alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. I was hoping that that would have a date on it. Maybe that would be the six digit code. But doesn't seem like any such luck. So let's see if we can make our way back to where we were before. Nope. Never mind. This is the wrong way. Ignore me. So it looks like the most sensible thing for me to do right now is go back to that area up top that I was at before. Just because I didn't get to finish exploring that after I went to the right. So here we go. See, there's a dock here, so it kind of looks like water. I'm not sure, but that could very potentially be water. Or something else dreadful and horrifying entirely. Who knows? Anything could be happening in this amazing world. What's in here? <gasps> Metal pipe that can be used to pry things. Oh, what's this? I'm a little tired from walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? Yeah, take a nap. You deserve a break. All right. So she was in a field of wheat. Ghetto Sweater, are you still there? Yes. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow! I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't the light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your homeworld called? Earth. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, uh, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow, can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my homeworld is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes. At night, everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world's like that, too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? 
There's a bunch of them in this world. Uh, and anyway, we should probably get going. What a good dialogue. I already feel connected to this character. I swear, game, if you take her away from me, I am going to be so upset. Nico is my new best friend. We talk about the sun and stuff. Alright, so apparently we can't go this way. Well, we ended up getting a good dialogue in with Nico, find out a little bit more, and... Who are you? Um, hello? Ghetto Sweater, are you there? Yes. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power and its joints are all rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross the ocean to get to the tower. So it is water. Interesting. But well, we got that bar so we can go back into that building and open up that container. Which, who knows what it will have inside. Oh hey, here's a thing I didn't read before. It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Interesting. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Interesting. So just a little bit more. See, I feel like all the information in this world will definitely be useful. Oh, I went to the wrong side. Right here, I can open this. Uh, metal rod. The pipe won't fit under the cracks, ghetto sweater. We'll need to flatten it somehow. I got you, homie. See, this is the good thing about exploring. I know how to do everything. And... Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, ghetto sweater? Oh, but you don't want to get too close. That was scary. Yeah, it was scary. Because you didn't... It just turns it into a crowbar. Not even a flattened pipe. It is a crowbar now. That's how crowbars are made. <laughs> Okay, oh, wait, wrong way. This way. Open! There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what was used to... Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the, on the side. Okay. No, I don't want to combine. But I should be able to give this power using these things. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp in the jar. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, can I put the cube in here? The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track, but nothing happened. Uh. So it says I'm on the right track, which is kind of helpful, I think. So I have to charge this battery, I guess? Are we sure we can't do anything with this? Oh, 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 I bet I can use the empty bottle to go find one of those phosphor pools it was talking about. And as long as there, as long as it's bubbling over or whatever the case may be, then I can take some of the shrimp and then I can use that to charge the battery. Ha 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 ha. Learning is fun. So is this it? No. I guess I just have to find a specific phosphor pool in order to get this to work. So I'm going to find that and I'll be right back. Oh, the light bulb. So are you the Messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller or at least someone that doesn't look like a kid. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat, but cats walk. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the Messiah just doesn't feel right. But the robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. <sighs> this is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually, and we really can't really just leave. 
Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and the, and the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh? Don't take my word for it, though. All right, new person. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. <laughs> robots. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. So we have Kip and Silver. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry. I got curious. What is this thing? A backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light that we have. Oh, you're a robot. Something is poking out from the shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Cool. Can I take some... Wait. I still have that. Lots of tiny shrimp in the jar. Fully growing shrimp. The top is covered with a wire mesh. Jar full of growing shrimp. Wire mesh. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have the capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. So maybe she's tamed? A bed. It's made of metal. It doesn't look very comfortable. It's a crate. What about here? A shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. Can I charge my battery here? The word silver is written on the side. Why does it say that? That's not important. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh. He never told me if it went there, anywhere. It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see the details, though. <laughs> Ghetto sweater, I'm not gonna smash the sun. Fine. Be that way. Well, that was... that was nice. That was a nice interaction. I mean, she is a robot, so you can't really blame her for being... kind of off-putting. So still no luck with the phosphor pool, but I'm still going to keep looking. This one, maybe? No. Hello? Do any of you want to give me the glowies? Come on. You know you want to. It's a power cell, I think. Oh, the word profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. All right, so now that we looked at the other one... It seems they each have one dedicated to them. So I need to charge this battery, but I have no idea. Oh. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Apparently we're going in. Oh. Do be careful in here. What's this? There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh? Or not. I don't know. Okay. It's another one of the shrimp jars. Can I take this one? No. No. Is there shrimp anywhere? I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. 
but for you it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. So, do I have to... The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. Are you sure about that? So we have to find the robot that keeps going back? Do be careful. Ready to leave? Mm-hmm. I have a camera now. Maybe there's a robot I can put this on. So it definitely, as you go back and forth, that way you can kind of get an idea of where everything is. And when you have all the components that you need, you can then get everything all together and do whatever it is you need to do. Of course, me getting lost, I'm going to forget pretty quickly what I'm doing, so... But maybe we can give this camera robot head to somebody. Somebody that needs it. I don't know... I don't know if I recall a particular robot that could have used it, though. Ooh! Oh, did I pull the... Okay. I have a lens. Uh Oh. Oh, look at this. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. I have a charged battery. So I just needed that lens then. Okay. So I have the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put it back into the building where that machine was. And we're going to see if that does anything. And I also want to try and use it on that robot that's up top. Or maybe I can just keep charging it unlimited with the sun. I went to the wrong place. So with unlimited charge from the light bulb, I can go ahead and use it on whatever I want to use it on. Can I use this on you? A robot without power. No, apparently not. But we'll go ahead and we'll start this machine right up. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Whoa! Ow! I just got shocked. <laughs> Oops. It's a power cell, I think. Oh, the word profit bot. Okay, we already did that. So we have power now. Oh! Hey! I am functional. I can walk. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Right, Ghetto Sweater? Cool, so all of the robots are up and running then. I wonder what kind of range that thing has, because the, the message earlier made it sound like the energy is somehow spread out over an area. So that's pretty interesting. And I don't have the battery anymore, so I guess we're not charging anything else. Hello, organic life form. Hello? Oh, hello. Hi. I have power again. Yep. Oh, hello. Hi. Yep. And let's go ahead and take a peek around, see if there's anybody up and running about. I'm pretty sure that power generator will power anything in the area, so I'm guessing even that robot that's up at the top right will probably be good to go. Uh, I would like to check out the ones on the left, but I'm sure I'm going to be heading back that way at some point anyway. So, I'll go ahead and I'll hold off on that for now and see if we can pro progress the story a bit more. Alright, here we go. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. Okay. Oh, maybe when I uh, gave power, that robot that she mentioned that keeps coming back went over here. Robot? No? Safety violation! <laughs> okay. Well, maybe then the, the robot 
is back over there now, so we'll go and check and see if he's there. And it looks like all of the broken robots, the ones that weren't uh, <laughs> entirely in one piece, are still very non-functional, so... I am functional! Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's so over it at this point, she's just talked to all these robots, I work! <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> is the robot back? It is not. Good. Maybe that's the wrong one. Oh, he's up here. Okay. Yeah, okay. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? By the way, all the robots sound the same, just so you know. Well, Ghetto Sweater helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Ghetto Sweater and I will find a way to help you. Alright, time to find something that will remove rust. So I don't really know where else I would find something in particular, but it seems to be helpful to speak to people who you've spoken to before. So we'll just go right on through and we'll see who has more information on getting some anti-rust cream. Get this guy all functional again. Nah, I don't think I have anything for you. But I don't know who else would have stuff that I could use. But I do find it fascinating that everything has somehow managed to run off of residual power. You can kind of tell that some things were prioritized over, over others. Help, robot lady, I need things. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. Come on, you gotta have something for me. Ooh, I forgot that this computer's powered now. I see you've made progress in this world, Ghetto Sweater, but that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. That means I need to find it somewhere else! Good, start looking. Okay, that's cool. So, I'm guessing since it's not in that world, I'm gonna pause for a bit. I'm gonna look through the page on the description of the game, maybe? I'm guessing there might be something there. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Or I'm wondering if it's maybe somewhere in one of the folders in the game itself. So I'm going to run right over here to the, the safe. And then we'll pause right there and we'll take a look. There, oh, I found it. I found it. <laughs> 420530. It was in the Steam Apid. So 420530. Okay, so 420530. Oops. No, wait. No, stop! Stop, 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 stop! 420530. That wasn't it? Aww. Come on! Oh! Ooh, look what I found! So it was definitely, uh, it was actually in the users folder, so rather than being under the game, it just uh, put it separately into my personal folder. So that's why I couldn't find it. Dear, <laughs> uh, message to you, I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that you don't understand. 
read it and you will know what to do. I have also something left you. Hmm. Look for a metal safe in the quarry east. The code you need is 902063. All right, so 902063. Boom. Whoa, it worked. Wait, how did you know the code, Ghetto Sweater? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right, let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Ah. Also, there's this weird-looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Alright. Excuse me? What is that? Hello? I'll wear it when I have to. Strange journal. Okay. Well, are we... Are we just going to ignore that? Alright. Well, I guess that's what that is now. Alright, so let's see what this gas mask is capable of. I should be fine with this mask on. Okay. A lot of tall pillars. Some stuff on the ground. Nothing of particular concern or question yet. We'll go ahead, we'll check out what's in here. Looks like the energy is reaching this far. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Okay, so they were processing chemicals. Who knows of what quality. If I had the right tool, yeah, I know what it is. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Well, I need them, so... Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents. Acidic acid blue phosphor. So we have to mix the blue phosphor? Oh. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into the, your container of choice. Seal immediately. So we have to put gas in the container and then blue phosphor. Oh, I'll wear them when I have to. Good thing I kept this crowbar. Cool. What a workout. Ooh. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Ghetto Sweater. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. So maybe we can put the sponge over the container after there's a lot of robots a bunch of robots without power i guess the generator can only do so much well we found a good amount of equipment over here so that's pretty cool and i don't think there's anything else in here so i guess we'll take this stuff with us and continue our journey Ooh. There's something weird about the robots who got sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? No, that's probably because it's acid, and the acid is actually stripping away the rust off of the metal, which is a pretty cool chemical reaction. Alright, alright, alright. And I don't need the mask anymore, so that's pretty cool. But I don't know where I'd get the gas from. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. It's weird that the gas stopped here. Some of the ink on this page is faded. 
likely due to some sort of electrical and magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot be kept, cannot keep up pace. Unfortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not in a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Pretty sure these computers now... All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Well, I'm sure that was your one and only job, so... I'm sorry to hear that you've been rendered completely obsolete. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Interesting. Tiny shrimp. Looks a little dim. A power cell. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. Okay. Interesting. Can I go up this? Mm, oh. Alright. I'm scared of ladders. <laughs> okay. I mean... I guess you could probably be scared of heights. I'm not sure about being scared of the ladder itself, but... And then this is another one of those buildings. A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before Ghetto Sweater. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> hey Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um... <clears throat> Beep boop. I am a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. Oh, we got somebody's attention. <laughs> robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Sorry. Ghetto sweater. You made me look silly. I'm sorry. Hey, friend. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Alright. Well, you continue guarding whatever it is you're guarding. We have full faith in you. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. And they're by the... But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aw. Still nothing up there. Alright. So they were evacuating after the sun went away, or the light went away, and it seems that they had to cross the ocean. So I'm assuming the barrens are blocked off by the ocean, and then there are the inner parts that lead towards the tower. So that's something. It's kind of a... It's almost like a giant moat surrounding the tower. But it's weird why it would be like that. Especially where this is where they get all their resources from. Oh, wait a minute. It's over here. Ooh. <gasps> this pond sure looks different. It's bubbling over. Yes. Bottle time, bottle time. No. No. You want me to fill the bottle with this stuff, Ghetto Sweater? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. Oh, <gasps> sponge! And then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to use funnels. 
and then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, we should probably look for a funnel or something. No, I have a sponge. Can I use the sponge? Ah, uh, Bummer. So I have to find a funnel. Okay. The sky is dark. That is That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? Ugh. We're working on it. Now we know where we can collect some of those shrimp. So that's pretty cool. But we don't have a funnel, so that's also a problem. But what was over here? So I kind of left this area unexplored. Hello! <laughs> Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. I think this is the infirmary. I nailed it. Well, before we go into the infirmary, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I think we got a good amount done today and collect a lot of useful information that we'll be able to use for next time. We're going to be looking for a funnel so we can get some of those shrimp into the bottle. Uh, we now know how to make whatever the gas and the phosphor makes put together. And the rowboat, the robot's gone now, so we don't really know what's up with him. But we are going to be trying to cross the ocean at some point. But all in all, I think we made some good progress, so this will be a good place to leave off. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out of here for the day, and I will see you next time. Laters!